Hey everybody! Today we're gonna talk about quinoa seeds. Let's go! Many people have heard of quinoa, often referred to as a superfood. We suggest learning more about its benefits, which have been recognized in health circles for quite some time, but have only attracted media attention in the last few years. What is quinoa? This grain has become popular among health-conscious people due to its various benefits, including high amounts of protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It is rich in magnesium, iron, B vitamins, calcium, potassium, phosphorus, vitamin E, and various antioxidants. It is gluten-free and is recommended for people who are on a gluten-free diet. Quinoa is a grain crop grown mainly for its edible seeds. The plant is a variety of the genus Goosefoot, Chenopodium quinoa, which originated in the Lake Titicaca region of Peru and Bolivia. Domestication dates back to 3 to 5,000 years BC, when it began to be bred by the peoples of the Americas, according to existing historical data. There is also archaeological evidence of quinoa in the tombs of Arica in Chile, Tarapaca, Calama, and various regions of Peru. At that time, pre-Columbian civilizations grew and used quinoa as a staple food. The most common types include white, red, and black quinoa. In addition to the uniqueness of color, the different varieties provide their own flavors and textures. White quinoa is the most common, with a smoother texture than red quinoa, which is most often used in cold salads. Black quinoa is slightly earthier and sweeter than mild white quinoa. Composition and calories. The caloric content of quinoa is 368 kilocal per 100 grams of product. Fats are contained in small amounts. These are polyunsaturated and monounsaturated. Quinoa is a complete protein. It is about eight grams per serving. Complete proteins are those that contain all nine essential amino acids. Quinoa is gluten-free, rich in protein, and is one of the few plant foods that contains all nine essential amino acids. Quinoa is also rich in fiber, magnesium, B vitamins, potassium, calcium, iron, phosphorus, vitamin E, and various beneficial antioxidants. Some types known as phytoestrogens are being studied in the treatment of menopause symptoms because they sometimes have the ability to behave like estrogens in the body. By including quinoa groats in your diet, you will certainly increase your overall intake of these nutrients, as well as other important plant components. Unlike many grains, quinoa is very rich in fiber. One study conducted at the University of Valencia in Spain used four varieties of quinoa to determine the amount of fiber. The average yielded between 10 and 16 grams of fiber for every 100 grams of cereal. This grain is non-GMO and is usually grown organically. Useful properties of quinoa groats, low sodium. Quinoa is rich in fiber and protein. Fiber is the non-digestible part of carbohydrates, which helps satiate the body and relieve the feeling of hunger. Porridge made from this cereal prevents and relieves constipation, can help lower cholesterol levels, which is good for the heart. It is indicated for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Studies show that the risk of type 2 diabetes is lower, with frequent consumption of whole grains. Is an alternative to pasta to satisfy starch cravings, Quinoa porridge will be beneficial for athletes. Muscles not only need protein to function and grow properly, but also other nutrients, such as iron, which also helps maintain a healthy muscle metabolism. Quinoa in breastfeeding and pregnancy. Because of its high nutrient content, quinoa is recommended for women in pregnancy. The cereal will fill the body with vitamins and minerals and will also help to restore strength, reduce appetite, avoid anemia. When breastfeeding, quinoa is recommended for use to produce milk and saturate it with useful substances. Since porridge from this cereal does not contain gluten, the possibility of an allergic reaction to this dish is minimized. From what age can quinoa be fed to children? It is not recommended to feed quinoa to children under two years old, despite all its advantages. The cereal contains saponins, which are toxic for babies and irritate the intestines. After two years of age, you can add porridge from this cereal to the diet. The cereal to Benefits and uses of quinoa in weight loss. Quinoa today is a trend of healthy food and it has become one of the main ingredients in the diet of many people who care about their health. And this is not surprising. 
Porridge from this cereal gives a feeling of satiety for a long time, has a neutral flavor. Also, the groats contain some nutrients that can help lose extra pounds, so it is a useful addition to weight loss diets. The main thing is to watch the portion size. The evidence for the effectiveness of quinoa in weight loss is clear. There is some preliminary evidence directly linking quinoa to weight loss. The authors of the study found that rats fed quinoa, grits ate less food overall than rats that did not eat the grits. Other studies suggest that one of the compounds found in quinoa may help with weight control. An animal study published in the journal Psychology and Behavior found that mice fed a quinoa extract high in 20 hydroxy diazone burned more calories throughout the day and absorbed less fat from their diet. If you want to lose weight in a delicious way, you can serve quinoa topped with a nutritious pesto of blended kale, almonds, and olive oil for a healthy side dish filled with greens. Or make a quinoa salad for lunch by mixing it with braised zucchini, sweet peppers, onions, mushrooms, eggplant, and a homemade lemon and basil vinaigrette. Quinoa in medicine for diabetes. To keep blood sugar levels at the right level, diabetics must be consistent and careful with their diet. If you don't pay attention to your diet, you can easily spike your blood sugar levels and end up facing serious and dangerous complications of the disease. Quinoa grains are ideal for diabetics for their perpetual chronic fatigue. This cereal is characterized by a low glycemic index, 53 units. This means that the cereal will not raise the blood sugar levels of a diabetic. Quinoa is also high in magnesium, which is known to help those suffering from the disease. For pancreatitis, a diet for chronic pancreatitis is the number one strategy recommended for patients diagnosed with an inflamed pancreas. Pancreatitis is more common in adults due to alcohol abuse, due to the development of gallstone disease, but pediatric pancreatitis is not uncommon due to many genetic factors and poor diet. The diet plan for pancreatitis addresses the deficiency of digestive enzymes and insulin in some cases. A diet for chronic pancreatitis should include four to five small and frequent meals throughout the day. Alcohol, tobacco, carbonated drinks, fruit juices, and drinks with caffeine are highly undesirable as they tend to overstimulate the pancreas. Complex carbohydrates, which are found in quinoa, are acceptable in chronic pancreatitis. Porridge is consumed one to two times a week with the addition of cold pressed olive oil. The dish from this cereal has an enveloping effect that promotes digestion while not irritating the gastric mucosa. In the acute form of pancreatitis, quinoa should not be consumed. With gastritis and for the intestines, people with acute gastritis should refuse quinoa since you cannot consume it during an exacerbation. When the disease is chronic and does not bother the symptomatology, grains are acceptable in the diet three times a week. Quinoa is usually cooked for seven, eight minutes. Such a cooking time is suitable for a healthy person. However, for a patient with gastritis, the porridge should be more cooked to become viscous in order to envelop the inner walls of the stomach. It is the viscosity of the porridge that is necessary to treat gastritis. Uncooked quinoa can only aggravate the disease. Instead of digesting food quickly, the stomach will load up trying to extract the necessary amount of acid to digest the food. Quinoa does not cause gastrointestinal upset. However, you should not overuse this grain. If you have gout, you should not consume quinoa with gout and acute phases of urolithiasis, harm and contraindications. Quinoa is contraindicated in individual intolerance and kidney problems. People with urolithiasis and gout do not give quinoa porridge to children under two years old. How to choose and store quinoa. White quinoa is the most common type of grain you'll find in most stores, although red and black are becoming available in major cities too. As for choosing the groats, there is one single rule. Check the expiration date given by the manufacturer on the package and its integrity. It is better to store quinoa in an airtight container made of glass or plastic. In this case, the groats will be stored for a longer period, about three to six months, about three. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a like. Bye everyone.